They met in New Japan Cup. They formed a team. And it is a perfect match. Colt Cabana, Toro Yano. Yano looking to increase international DVD sales. And Colt Cabana just back with a special. Six episode return of the art of wrestling. One of the most influential wrestlers of the decade, Colt Cabana. And Toru Yano. Well, what, what hasn't he done? Bringing the curry salesman, a representative of Hokkaido. But right now, my goodness gracious, it's turning into a boogie woogie dance hall. Ricky Morton, Robert Gibson, Hall of Famers. Nine-time NWA Tag Team Champions. And back in a New Japan ring. And at ringside with me, joining me on commentary, TJP. Hey, brother. Thank you for coming aboard. We've got ourselves an interesting contrasting matchup right now. Well, yes, we do. And let me just say that right now, all eyes are on you because you're sitting next to me. I'll take it. I'll take <laughs> it, my friend. <laughs> nice win for you tonight. My, my question for you, TJP, is look, these, these guys are tagging against legends. Do you have any type of insight into what goes into the head of Cabana and Yano? Well, when you're working with a team like the Rock and Roll Express, I feel like, you know, the word that comes to mind is efficiency. And, uh, you know, that's something I take pride in, you know, myself and tagging with Nagata. That was my first time being in the ring with Nagata, but I feel like when you concentrate on efficiency, which is the Rock and Roll Express, guys that have shaped my career growing up, uh, you know, they have to find a way to break that up, you know, because like the Rock and Roll Express, for me, I. I like to put it like this. Uh, I'm like pizza. I deliver in 30 minutes or less. So. Well, we're seeing the chemistry of Gibson and Morton is unquestioned. Right now. I mean, they, Yano, sure, Yano, they sure know how to pick colors. Yeah, I'll you, say that. Yano and, Yano and Cabana are both trying to figure out the chemistry as to who's going to start the match. Cabana and Morton. Lock up with Colt. He's saying that is his uh, number one move, the lock up. Well, I'll say Robert's got to look out because a lot, one of the more underrated parts of Cabana's game is his ability to get down on the mat. And a little boogie woogie dance hall from Cabana. <laughs> Ricky Morton. <laughs> Again, the lockup. Cabana using that lower body. Pushing Gibson into the ropes. And the high 10. And one for the officials as well. And that's a tag. Hey, I'll be upset about it. Yano, he only got five. That's a tag. Yano's in. Cabana trying to get a challenge. So conversely, you know, we I spoke about the efficiency of the Rock and Roll Express, but you know, the team of 
Colt and Yano, they have kind of a controlled chaos going on, so to speak. The term crazy like a fox comes yeah. to mind with both these guys. Yeah, it's a bit like Looney Tunes, you know? They get there in the end, but the journey is pretty interesting. They were efficient in World Tag League. 18 points for them, nine wins. 18 points. Including, including wins over Gorillas of Destiny, who we'll see later tonight against Hiroshi Tanahashi and Rocky Romero. Now, Morton and Gibson, I mean, you, 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 you have to think about... Oh, he's going for the turnbuckle pad already. You gotta think about the evolution they've seen in tag team wrestling. They, I mean, they start, they start in 1983. Still going to this day. We're in the shadow of a stadium built by the best pure passer in the National Football League, Dan Marino. It's hard to imagine Marino still going, and this is when these guys started. The I, evolution for these guys that they've seen through the last, well, 30, 40 years. That's unreal. Span of my lifetime, and they still got the place rocking. I mean, just listen to this place. Great block by Gibson. Out comes Morton. Firing down with the shots. And Cabana tries to save. Ah, the kick up. There goes Colt. There goes Yano. Atomic drops into each other. Textbook offense from Colt and Yano. Well, they sure know how to counter the stereo moves, don't they? They know how to get the crowd on their side. Drop to holds. Out goes Colt. And Morton now. And just when they think they have an answer for the tandem offense, Rock and Roll Express has an answer for that. Well, Rock and Roll never dies is what they say. Ripping down. Well, I suppose I mean, the, the it, that's, trademark that, one locks. That's, that's one move that'll always work. <laughs> Ricky Morton. There goes Turnbuckle. Oh, dear God, no! Vicious, vicious with that padding. Down goes Gibson. Now Cabana and Yano are going to be really in their element, controlling the ring. Loading up the elbow. It's a little yeah. bit far for him. Break out the surveying materials. Yeah. Uh, I know it's a, it's kilometers and miles. Oh, a little too close. I am not sure the depth perception is where it needs to be with these guys. Got him right where you want him. Perfect impact. Took a little while, but got to their destination. Cabana with the cover. Morton again, the kick out. Goes for it again. And Morton, one more. Third time. Go for a fourth. I oh, got him. You know, that's one thing about Colt. Everybody in the ring is an opponent at some point. It's all about the lulls with Colt Cabana. No, no laughing matter when you take a stiff <laughs> shot into the abdomen, though. Tag, in comes Yano. Cutting off the ring real well here. And this time, twisting and turning their way. They might need an anatomy lesson, though. Okay, okay, okay. You good job, you good job. Oh, into the steel. That's the exposed turn yeah. yeah. Yano knows exactly where that is. Boss. We talked about him being crazy as a fox. The padding isn't going to do a lot of damage, but that exposed steel is going to stop Ricky Morton in his tracks. Colt loading up now. Looking for the lariat. No, oh, back elbow. Yano into the metal exposed. Real chance for the express here. In comes Gibson. One, two, takes them both down. Have another serve. Lariats. 30 plus years later, that fire is still there. That fire will never die, DJP. And neither will that faded t-shirt. Roll up. 
No, I can't Almost get the schoolboy. Colt driving home on the elbow, right in the side of the cranium. Oh, looks like they're going for broke here. Oh, no. Back to old number one. Devis devastating with the pad. I don't know if Colt's going to be ready for Atlanta after taking that shot. Turnabout, fair play, down goes Yano. Referee trying to get some type of semblance of control. Ooh, ooh, right this on the... This guy's got to remember that turnbuckle is still exposed over there. Right on the shoulder. Great reversal there by Colt. Cabana. Again, back to it. Good distraction, low blow, oh no! Schoolboy, quick cover, and uh, again. Organized chaos from one of the leaders of chaos. Yana, low blow, distraction from Cabana, win goes their way. Showing exactly why they were so dangerous in dynamic in World Tag League. Yeah, they've got a way of reading each other at moments like that when it is chaos, and I think that's what their strength is. You know, we talked about Rock and Roll Express being able to have a game plan at all times. You know, 30 years later, they just know everything that a team can do and come in prepared for, but what they're not prepared for is the unpredictable, and that is exactly what Yano and Colt are. It's almost like they're on the same wavelength, these two. You could put them in a room with psychologists for years. It'd be a fine case study. I think they can make psychologists seek psychologists. 